What's up, YouTube? First time ever trying to make a video, so bear with me. All right, so we have the RF bridge sewn off, um, which we're going to flash with this ESP, and I have no idea on how to say that. Um, I even tried using Google Translate just to translate that, so I'm going to butcher it, so I'm just not going to say it. Um, so the RF bridge communicates with door sensors, PR sensors. Um, you can set up some cool automations. So if the lights turn on, if somebody walks by, you can have it. If a door opens, it alerts you. I have one actually in a drawer. So every time one of my kids opens the drawer, Google home will be announced saying, is this your drawer? If it's not, you better get out. And then it sends a text message. Um, it's a great little feature. So when I'm not home and my kids are being nosy, I know what's going on. Um, I'm going to walk you through on how I flashed this and kind of how I set it up. So let's get to it. Um, we're going to have to go to this website here. All the links will be down below. Um, you're going to have to scroll through this list, and there's quite a few things in here, and I haven't tried any of them except for one. So uh, you're going to look for the Sonoff Bridge RF. There's another one, but I've used only this one. So give this one a shot. And um, once you download that, then we're going to have to go to another website called ESP Easy and flash this device. Now this guy right here, um, up here in the corner, Dr. Z's does tons of videos on how to flash Sonoff devices. He's great at it. Um, I've learned a lot just from him alone. So go to his YouTube page, which I'll have a link down below, or if you can, click this up top and it will take you to his page, but after you're done watching this video. So Go ahead and do that. You're going to download probably the latest. You can download some older ones, but I'd recommend the latest because it usually fixes bugs that they had issues with. So go ahead and download that. And then we're going to jump into uh, the flashing video. So this is me pre-recorded um, flashing this. So you want that switch there in the off position. And then you're going to have to push that button in when you power up your serial adapter. Um, so what I usually do is push the button in with my finger and I take a USB cord and I uh, plug it into the machine. So that puts that machine into bootloading mode. So that allows it to be flashed. So next thing you need to do is load your um, application. Uh, which we downloaded ESP Easy. Um, that's the tool to flash the device itself. Um, so you'll kind of get a little bit of a noise when you plug it in. You you push the button in. You plug in the the adapter. You'll get a du -du 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 noise from Windows or something along those lines, and once you do that, you'll hit the button. And you'll hit flash. And then uh, a little DOS window will come up. Up here in the corner here, you'll see a DOS window. And it will um, start to copy and write uh, the file to the Sonoff bridge. Uh, in my picture here, I only have... Um, it goes to 70%. I was going to do a little video of it running, but I said a picture is good enough. It gets to 100, then it closes and says complete. So moving on from there, and then once you got it flash, it will make an AP mode, which then you'll have to connect to its Wi-Fi. So once you connect to the Wi-Fi itself, um, you will which is in this little document, you will look for the name of the firmware and then some numbers and letters. And that's the Wi-Fi you want to connect to. And then the passwords here in the document, um, type that in, which you'll connect. And then you'll get, like here in the video playing on the side, 
you'll have to enter your information in. Uh, go to MQTT, type your stuff there, go to the password, uh, change it. So next time you reset it, your admin would be admin and your password will be whatever you created. And then when you go down to Wi-Fi settings, you'll pick your Wi-Fi, type in your password. Make sure once uh, my video catches up here, uh, you click that hamburger icon up top and you're going to need to hit that little green save button down there in the corner um, and then you're going to hit the reconnect button once you hit the hamburger so here's me showing you the wi-fi enter your password you can enter static stuff but hit save then hit reconnect that'll reboot the device and connect to your wi-fi once that's done you're going to have to Go back to this page here one second. Um, you're gonna have to program it. So let me pull up that website. So anyways, hit the learn button, then actually activate the device. Some of them you have to open and then close. So you'll actually take a screw or somehow pop the closing off, which then will send the signal and then it will beep and then you'll get a unique um, ID code here which then we'll have to take and put into home assistant so we're going to go over there next um, give me a second here we're going to flip flop um, here we go so we're going to need to take this and make a brain sensor um, this is how you're going to add it the topic is going to be relay and whatever relay you have like if you only have one so then it'd be relay zero or relay one or relay two this is how i have it set up i'll have uh that all in the description too but then along those lines we're going to have to have a reset um automation because some of these sensors only have well, I'm trying to think only have one code send so if they only have a one code send how is it supposed to reset itself if you understand what I'm saying like when you're in the learn part some of the switches have an on off and some only have an on so like my motion ones when i walk by them they send one code out but they never send another code saying nobody's moving so if we send an on command but we never send an off command home assistant constantly thinks it's on there's always somebody in the room so what i do is i make this script which i got from somebody else i'm not going to take the credit for this but this is how I set it up. Um, so you got your entities, IDs, your triggers, your brain sensor. So that would be whatever you want to name the sensor in this one. PR, see it's a PR3, PR4, that's the name of that one, and door is that one. So these ones are PR3s, which are on for five seconds and then tells it to turn off by sending the payload zero. Now zero is um, off, one is on. So that's what this does. And then if you go to, I'm sorry, bear with me. We're gonna flip flop again back to here and we'll go to, status and in the status bar here um, I'll show you I'll walk by a sensor which you can see it triggered here yellow and then if I go back You see the sensor triggered here, but reset itself. 
again. So it's kind of like it's on. I send the on command and then I send an off command. So then they know to reset their self over and over and over again. On, off. And I do it one more time on, off. They just, that's, that's what that script does. So hopefully I didn't talk along or mess this video up too much. Um, if you liked it, I guess give it a thumbs up. Uh, I don't know how many more videos I'll do, but if you want, hit the subscribe button. And if I decide to make more, then you'll be alerted. So thanks. Uh, have a great day.